Welcome back to the lab, your place for tutorials, travel and inspiration. Today I will show you this amazing and very detailed color reveal effect. If you watch it to the end, I have a huge bonus tip for you. Everything you need is a clip where you want to change the color or reveal the color. For that I've got here a shot where I tap here on the leaves and this is the moment where we start to change or even reveal the color. Make sure that your clip is already color graded and then just duplicate it one layer above and then jump with the second one into the color page and then simply turn the saturation all the way down to zero. So we have two clips here. This one is the black and white and the colored one. Later we're gonna mask out here the hand. So we need to take here the clip below the colored clip and make a copy here on top, but we can disable it for now, we don't need it. So take here the black and white clip and the colored clip and with these two create a new fusion clip and then jump right into Fusion. First, as always, delete the Merge and the Background node and then click on this little dot so you can see which clip it is. So this is the colored clip, I put it up here and this is the black and white clip, I put it down here and connect it with the Media Out. Make sure that your Media Out is back into the right viewer so you always see what your final image looks like. Then take the color clip and connect it here to the little square of the gray clip. This creates a merge node and so we have our colored clip on top of the gray clip. And now to make this color reveal effect we go to the frame where I tap here on the leaf. This is exactly here. And here we create a mask that gets bigger so the colors get revealed. We do it simply with an ellipse mask. So take it and plug it into the blue input of the color clip. And you already see this creates a mask where we have here the color and on the outside it's black and white. With the ellipse mask selected, put it right here onto your finger and reduce it all the way down to zero and set a keyframe on width and height. Then go pretty much to the ending of your whole clip and adjust the size here of this ellipse mask until it covers the whole screen like that. So this creates here the color reveal from this mask. But that doesn't look so cool for now, so we're gonna spice this a little bit up. And for that we select here our colored clip, hit shift and spacebar and type in this place. So it's connected with the yellow input, this is very important. Then with nothing selected, hit once again, shift and spacebar, type in fast noise. Then connect the fast noise with the green input. This is important, it needs to be at the foreground. And then make sure that here the displace node is in your left viewer, because now we are doing some very cool adjustments to the fast noise and displace node. And so you have the overview, so you see exactly what you are doing, if you like it or you don't like it. And with that you can achieve some very cool effects. So first here in the fast noise, I set detail, contrast and brightness all the way up. So I want to have it very edgy and wobbly here around, but we don't want to have it in the whole mask. We only want to have it on the outside. So for that, we have here this ellipse mask, which we created. With the right mouse button, click on copy. And then with nothing selected, click paste instance. That's very important that you don't paste it normally, you have to paste instance like that. And you see these are connected. So what this does is everything we change here in this ellipse mask will be applied here in this mask as well. So when we do later some adjustments here, then we have it on this mask too. But there are three things we don't want to have the same. The first one is the solid. Click with the right mouse button and de-instanced and soft edge the instance and border with the instance so we can adjust them as we want to have because now when we look at the mask we have the full circle and we only want to have the outline because we want to have this color reveal effect only at the outline and not in the whole image so i give it a little bit of a border width here and a soft edge we can adjust that later but we will leave it like that for now and just connect it with the blue input of the fast noise now select the displace node and now you can get very crazy and creative so just play around here with the settings until you're happy with the final result so this is a look I'm very happy with. You can copy these settings if you want. I will show you again and just copy them and paste it to your liking. 
that looks very cool for now but we want to spice it a little bit more up here on the edges so it looks more like it's crawling slowly over and it, it's taking the colors so with the display selected hit shift and spacebar and type in edge detect press enter and we also want to have this effect only at the outside so here take the instance and just connect it with the edge detect so we have it only here on the outside you can see now the before and after here it's just this fading out wobbly effect and with the edge detect it gives way more contrast here on the outside and then here rgb edges set to grayscale and just select the color you want i select here a darker orange so it it looks more like it's taking over the gray and here once again adjust the sliders until you're happy with the look of it and with just this edge detect it makes a huge of a difference it's just a little adjustment but i think just around here this little glow the, it makes it so much more engaging and it's very cool to watch like that when you're happy with all the adjustments we can go back to the edit page and you should have a color reveal effect like that the only thing we need to do is mask out our hand so for that enable this clip here above and trim it to the length until your finger is gone right here we don't want to track the whole clip just where we need to so take that clip, open it in the fusion page, shift and spacebar, type in magic mask, draw a line over your hand, click on better, put the refine range a little bit down and take the negative pen and I draw a line here around so Da Vinci knows, okay, I don't want to have green inside and track it the whole clip. And then your animation should look like that. When you tap, the color reveals with this amazing effect. And as I said at the beginning, one big bonus tip here at the end. If you don't want to make a color reveal effect, more like a color change effect, go to your fusion clip, right click and open in timeline. So these are the two clips we made a fusion clip with them. So we have here our colored clip and this is the, the black and white one. If you want to change the colors, not from, from gray, for example, from red to green, open the gray one in the color page, put the saturation back to 50 so you have your normal image back, then go here to the waveform, go here to hue versus hue so we can change the colors. And now you see here we have yellow and green inside this image. So I select here yellow and green and I just put them up so the leaves get red like that make sure your hand does not get affected but that looks very good and like that we changed the colors to red and now when we go back here to our animation you can see we have some red leaves and when i tap it they turn green so with this effect you can make a color reveal effect so you have the the gray image and it reveals its color or you can even take for example a blue car make it red and then you put this effect on it and it gets back to blue. So there's no stopping for your creativity. With that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one.